Every year, Puerto Rico gets millions in federal aid to upgrade energy resources around the island. The Federal Secretary of Energy is on her fifth visit to the island, where she announced more than $450 million to deploy solar and battery storage to Puerto Rico's most vulnerable residents. Francis Felix tells us more. It is the most important thing to make sure that people have power. And it is the most frustrating thing to open up my email every morning where I get what the outages are to see we have so much further to go. That's how the Secretary of the Federal Department of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, reacts to press questions about the constant blackouts in the island that keeps impacting citizens. Granholm announced the availability of nearly $450 million to finance the development of photovoltaic energy systems with a storage in up to 40,000 homes on the island where people with limited economic resources reside or who depend on energized medical equipment. The sum is part of the $1 billion allocated in December by the U.S. Congress and managed by the Puerto Rico Energy Resilience Fund. Renewable as well, but today's announcement was really about solar, making solar and resilience available for folks who are the first to suffer when there is an outage. We want to make sure that the most vulnerable among us have reliant power, and that's what these dollars and these solar panels will go toward. The secretary who began this week his fifth official visit to Puerto Rico took the opportunity to talk about the progress that up to now the island has made towards the goal that energy production be 100 percent renewable energy by 2050. But our, our goal here is to help Puerto Rico reach its own goals, which is 100% renewable by 2050 and a grid that is 40% renewable by 2025. So in order to do that, you need a lot of funds going into rooftop solar. And that is what this first, um, first segment of the $1 billion that was passed by Congress and signed into law by President Biden is going to do. For his part, Governor Pierluisi was pleased with the announcement, and he said, and we quote, the goal is for these projects to be operational before the end of 2025, and those help us achieve what it is established in Law 17 of 2019, that is that 40 percent of the energy that we are generating comes from renewable sources. Reporting from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Frances Felix for One Caribbean News.